How to get glowing skin in just one week. Having clear, glowing skin can be a great boost to your confidence, but it doesn't always come naturally. Following a strict regime for a week including cleansing and moisturizing your face will help you achieve that glow, but proper skincare is so much more than just washing your face. Getting a glow and maintaining it involves much of your daily habits and keeping those in check will help you maintain radiant skin for a long time. 1. Determining your skin type. Learn the basic skin types. There are five different types of skin dry, oily, combination, normal, and sensitive, and it's important to know which one is yours before you begin treating your skin. Every skin type is treated differently, so learning how to treat yours will give you the most radiant glow. Cleanse your skin. In order to test your skin to determine what type of skin you have, it's important to cleanse it with a mild cleanser to remove any excess dirt, makeup, and oils. Then, pat dry with a towel, but do not rub as you don't want to irritate your skin. Press tissue paper or a napkin to the T-zone. After you have cleansed and dried your skin, wait about 30 minutes, and then test the skin on your T-zone. Taking tissue paper or a napkin, gently press down on your T-zone, making sure the entire area makes contact with the paper. The T-zone includes your forehead and your nose. Picture making a T, with the top of the T above your eyebrows and the length of the T along your nose. Examine the tissue. Remove the paper from your face and look at the dirt and oil left on it from your skin to determine your skin type. Here are some different things you might see. Dry. Skin feels stretchy and taut, there are signs of flaky and dead skin after you've cleansed your face, and pores are small. With this skin type you'll need to take extra care in moisturizing it. Oily. Shiny face and oil on the tissue, with large open pores. In order to achieve a glow with this face you'll need to keep the oil production down by using lighter products. You don't want your face to have a glow just from the oil. Combination. The tissue will be oily because of the T-zone, but your cheeks and other parts of your face may be normal or dry. This is a very common skin type and can be treated easily. Normal. The tissue will have little oil and there will be no flakes of skin. This really just means that your face is healthy and produces an adequate amount of oil, not too much, not too little. You'll still want to treat your face daily, though, to maintain its normalcy. Sensitive. This won't necessarily show on your tissue, but it may show on your face after you've removed the tissue. Does your face look red or irritated? Do you often feel a burning sensation on your face after using facial care products? If this is the case, you likely have sensitive skin and will just need to take extra care when cleansing your face to make sure you don't use products that are too harsh on your skin. 2. Following CTM. Learn CTM cleansing, toning, and moisturizing, and stick to a daily routine. It's important that you follow this routine every day, because it provides your skin with the moisture and cleanliness it needs. Doing this in the morning will help kickstart your day by giving you a fresh, clean face and then repeat the routine at night. People who have more sensitive skin or dry skin should only do this once per day, as cleansing your skin too much can dry it out even more and cause it to be more irritated. If you have dry skin, try following CTM in the morning and then removing your makeup and moisturizing your face at night before you go to bed. Cleanse your face. Buy a soft, gentle cleanser to wash your face with each day. Start by rinsing your face with warm water to help lift dirt out of your skin, and then using a cleanser to remove oil and cleanse your face. Put the cleanser on your fingertips and gently rub onto your face and neck using circular motions and working out from the center of your face. Then, rinse with warm water and pat dry with a towel. Make sure you get a cleanser suited for your skin type. When buying a cleanser there will often be information on the bottle explaining what type of skin type the cleanser is good for. You can also use natural facial cleansers that will probably be less irritating on your face. A cream cleanser is more hydrating so it may feel more refreshing on your face and can be better if you have dry skin. However, you can also use a gel cleanser if you have more oily skin or want to remove makeup. Always remove makeup before going to bed, even if you usually cleanse your face in the morning. Leaving any makeup on your face while you sleep will leave your face feeling more oily in the morning and can clog pores. You can use makeup remover or cleansing wipes to quickly remove any eye or face makeup. Apply toner. Take a cotton ball and pour toner over it, or dip the cotton ball into the toner and then swipe on your T-zone and other affected areas. If you have oily skin, toner is great for targeting those problem areas. 
If your skin is dry or sensitive, be careful when using toner so it doesn't dry out your skin even more and always test toner out on a small area to see how it affects your skin. Some toners may be stronger than others so you'll want to read the bottles and do some research on what toner is best for dry or sensitive skin. Moisturize your skin. Once you have cleansed your face, you can apply moisturizer to keep your face hydrated and healthy. Moisturizers come in all different types so you should be able to find one suited for your skin. Even if you have oily skin you'll want to moisturize it, just buy one that is lighter and specifically for oily skin. Buying a moisturizer with SPF is a great idea to prevent sun damage during the day. Use eye cream. Because the area under your eye is the thinnest part of your skin, it lacks a lot of moisture. Pat a pea-sized amount of eye cream under your eye around the orbital bone and let the cream soak into your skin. This can also help if you have dark circles under your eyes, wrinkles, or eye puffiness.